There was a, don't say this word, campaign recently, within this week, about Florida's new law being passed or passing or whatever it might be. And, and, and what it was was what to say appropriately and what's not appropriate for children. And it dealt with sexual orientation and sexuality. Strangers telling your five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old, and nine, you know, eight, nine-year-old sex when they probably themselves don't bring it up. So you got to figure what the media is telling you and what you're receiving as an op- in to interpret it as an opinion. Understand, media was initiated for crowd control, social engineering by Hitler back in the 1930s. He found out, before TV obviously, that radio was a great way to sit there and to communicate with the people. Also with the PSYOPs, they figured out that a, um, a speech is better delivered at night than in the morning. Because in the morning, the crowds would kind of dissipate because they had to go to work. But at nighttime, you know, when seven, you know, they might show up later at the bar, but they want to listen to Hitler as he speaks. So if you think about history and how PSYOPs, social engineering works, what are we doing now? Technology is a beautiful thing. How many times have you watched TikTok and you're hit with advertisers and they're not really paid advertisers? You know, product placement. <clears throat> All kinds of weird stuff, right? I saw one that was so great, I called up my friend. And I said, you know, dude, this is an awesome pro- thing happening because they did it so deceptively that it, it made it look like a real, you know, real person's account. He goes, that was me. And so a marketer, professional marketer, knows about psyops and social engineering. So when, you, when you're dealing with things being told what are, what are by the media... Then when Ron DeSantis comes out in the middle of a press conference and calls people out saying, this is what this bill says, not what you're saying it is. So are you making a decision for yourself or is someone making a decision for you and you're just simply a parrot repeating it? This is what Satanism is about, about reading between the lines and to subject yourself to all kinds of horseshit because a lot of people don't want to hear necessarily the truth. This truth is a personal perspective. What they really don't want to hear are facts. Facts are the best way of going by things. Think objectively. Be a Satanist. <laughs>